Welcome to the gun room. What do you think? Look at all this. Look, I got one of these things. I got one of these things. I got a bunch of these things. Isn't this so crazy? Hi, welcome to the video. Hoping to reach new demographics with this one. Apparently these react videos are really popular. So I'm gonna do a couple of these. How are things? How's it going? I'm James, uh, army 12 years, cop for like a post certified active shooter instructor, blah, 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 blah. CCW instructor, BSIS instructor, blah, 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 whatever. Uh, big nerd with guns, big old, big old nerds. And a lot of dudes will always send me like training videos of dudes training in airsoft. Like, hey, what do you think of this? Like, oh, this is good or this is decent or this is an abomination of training. So let's take a look at some. Most of these have like what I presume to be copyright music and I'm not trying to get a copyright strike on this. Uh, so this is obviously somewhere in Asia and this is the uh, Yi Y I workshop if you want to check that out and I'll post these videos in the the link in the description out of the bottom blah, 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 blah. Uh, But this looks pretty solid the problem I I believe from what I have kind of heard and seen is in Asia in all, all the country China Japan and all that they don't really have an operator friendly or military friendly community in the civilian world like in the states so in the states you can train with dudes that were rangers dudes that were special forces you can train with them openly my understanding is that's kind of unique in america so i'm presuming that a lot of the stuff that these guys are going to see uh because of how the laws are structured in their country is they probably just replicate a lot of they probably watch a lot of videos a lot of Haley videos which is fine that's what instructional training videos are for I just realized I still have my headset on. I don't really need this. Why am I wearing a headset? It's so ridiculous. But this looks fine. They have a sense of what's going on. They have a sense of, you know, picking up work and angles and this guy does this thing and he moves and it's just good stuff. Good for them. This one's coming from, oh boy, Sheep's dead. Blah, mm, not not gonna try that. I'm not trying to be offensive towards other nations by mispronouncing their stuff. Uh, this looks like it's more of an experience per se, uh, like a, just kind of like a fun day out than a uh, structured training thing to get better. Because uh, I've never seen anyone do tire drills with a live gun you're probably going to crank one off. If you fall, you can have an ND. So you really don't see the style of, uh, yeah, that. Imagine doing that with a live gun. That could be bad. Uh, so you really don't see this in real firearms. So I think this is just more like a fun thing or maybe like a competitive format or just then coming out and horsing around. But as far as like an educational uh, event for the purpose of getting better, uh, in airsoft, the word training gets used really loosely and really ambiguously. So this doesn't really look like training uh, as much as maybe more of just like a fun thing. Because if you look at the way that they're holding their guns, this dude didn't even start from the holster. Or if it's training, then wherever, whatever country this is in, they view training very differently than the American firearms uh, training community. Rolling through tires, you know, low crawling, shooting drills. Yeah, you, you wouldn't do this in the States with live firearms. But what that's also, that maybe that's wrong on my part, is I'm comparing uh, airsoft training to how it is done with live firearms. So for the sake of airsoft guns, this is perfect. You go ahead and do all these things. Would you do this with a real gun? No. No, well, not in the American training community, because look at his, look at the way his muzzle's going. He's not controlling his firearm, his fingers on the trigger. Uh, so this really isn't, and he's still going. They're not stopping him. If this was like a USPS, if this was a USPSA course of fire, he'd have been kicked for all of his muzzle violations, his finger violations, all that stuff. He would be kicked. He would be kicked off the range and you wouldn't see him back again. So... It just it, it just depends on what you're looking for. This channel is Iron City uh, C R U. I don't know what that means. This looks like it was from a phone, which is fine. I'll turn this on. I can listen to this audio. 
This isn't copyright. So these guys are practicing very old school, what I would consider old school um, entry tactics. It's very, very basic training. Uh, I'm not a fan of this guy having his muzzle up. He's the point man. He should probably have his muzzle forward, maybe get a little space on it. But again, they're here to practice. They're here to get better. They're, they're, they're training. Did I just knock my... Oh, I just... You watch his muzzle in reference to the space he's entering. That could be a little better. His his entry could be a little bit better. But again, that's, that's why you train. You're trying to get better. But they are practicing very old school um, ways to do things. Maybe a little bit Israeli. They're using great communication, so that's good. So this is not their first time doing it. They've obviously practiced this before. There is a fluidity to their movements. This looks pretty good. It, it needs work, certainly, but for... Is this someone's garage? Where is this? This is definitely not a field. Um, I would be curious to see who is conducting this training as well as what the uh, the intent behind it is. So I, this, a lot of that. So this is from Run and Gun Armory. This is Airsoft Training Volume 1. Uh, the way this video shot is gorgeous. I love the aesthetics of this video. I don't know where this is. Uh, I'm, again, I'm going to assume this is in a foreign country somewhere. I, I don't know because they, it, it seems to be Asian. I don't know. Uh, but it looks like fun. I think in this video, they're doing mostly like mechanics drills or like more of a shooting competition style training event. I'm guessing that this was, so this was kicked out in December, 2020. So it was worldwide COVID, which is why they're all wearing face coverings and stuff. When you're the instructor and you're giving a block of instruction, you don't want something like a gas mask that's going to heavily construe what you're saying. So right off the bat, this tells me that this guy's probably not a professional instructor uh, because he's not effectively able to give instruction unless he's got a mic system in there. But in the audio, you really can't tell. So it's here and there. But again, I, I would like to know what the instructor qualifications are here. What company is this? Or is this like, like a fun shoot? This to me looks a little bit more like a, like a boot camp experience or like a training experience or just like a man, manipulations training. This is just manipulation training, which is fine. You don't need any crazy instructor certification. You don't need to be some you know, scroll tab wearing ranger for this. But when you do something like a transition drill and your muzzle is pointing at the guy next to you, Mm, is it training though? Are you there to get better or are there just to make you know, gas blowback pews? That's one thing to consider. Transition drills, watch the muzzles. It could be a better, I suppose. Uh, this guy's going to carry on safety. So that's, uh, that's a very non-American thing to do is carry and move on safety a lot. Especially when you're going to go, if you know you're going to go into a known threat scenario like in this competition, unless for some reason the, the course of fire called for it, why would you carry on safety? That's that's a very non-standard American thing to do. The way I see this is probably, I'm guessing these guys are hosting uh, like a fun day event, like, hey, come out and shoot some airsoft guns. It's the closest thing we have to actual guns. These guys are airsofters. They have all this cool gear and they're going to be in charge. That's what I'm guessing it is. I'm guessing it's more of like an experience day and from a in a like a, a basic training standpoint similar to like a uh, nra first steps or like a beginning handgun that is based on this video that's how i perceive this looks cool though good for them good for them for putting this stuff on if, if that's the case good for them for putting these events on because these two young ladies don't look like any of these other you know wannabe operator dudes or whatever so i'm guessing i'm guessing based on the appearance of everyone these two young ladies are there just to shoot guns and have fun and they don't know anything about tactics or maybe airsoft or whatever they just showed up in clothes wearing their eyeglasses and they just want to shoot guns because they're interested in it god bless them last but not least we have my otters i say they're my otters because they they reside in my kingdom of northern california uh, the otters are cool kids. They're mostly in like the Stanislaw County area, I think. 
uh, from like around like the Turlock Modesto area, I believe. So they're in kind of that 209 uh, area. And I think they have a copyright music in this song, in this video, I can't remember. So we're just gonna play this bad boy on mute. It starts off, so the otters do their own training things, which is cool. I don't know who runs the training. I don't know what they're qual, like I don't know this gentleman's qualifications. Uh, they start off with standard manipulation drills. Great, manipulations and mechanics drills are staples in training. You have to know what you're doing, standing still and a little bit of movement before you can do anything else. Uh, then they kind of go into more advanced manipulation drills. I don't know why you're wearing nods in the middle of the day, but whatever. I get it. You're airsofters. You want to be cool. You're so silly. Uh, then they start doing multi looks like multiple engagement drills, standard stuff. I don't know why the guy with a saw is running a multiple engagement drill with single with a he does one round on the left and to the right, but eh, whatever. Some simple movement drills. Not bad. Again, this is going to depend on what is the objective of your training event. Are you trying to do firearms training or are you do an airsoft training? You can kind of hybrid the two of them a little bit. But from an airsoft standpoint, if we're going to say that this is training, one round is never enough in airsoft. It's generally not. If they're just doing it for the sake of manipulation and just to see how fast they can come up, break safe, transition, transition time, well, then that's valid. That is a mechanical drill. Pretty standard stuff. Uh, the one thing I do notice when it comes with the airsofters and CQB training is you usually see a lot of folks doing this. Is that Finn? Is that my little Finn? Uh, they usually do a lot of the old school, what I would call old school OIF single stack entry drills, the very uh, deliberate entry drills. Over time, we got away from this stuff because what was happening in a lot not 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 in any any operation i was in not in any mission i did not in any any door i ever kicked in what was happening or what the also the fear was was that prior to the to the entry you had the stack staging period so what was sometimes happening is if dudes were expecting and to so if the enemy was expecting to be entered on or an entry team they would just line out the entire wall and because they knew our training tech they knew that's where we were lining up they would just spray the walls and just knock teams down so we went away from this old school single stack style for a lot of for for everything this used to be the only way we trained now we do um there's a lot more emphasis on especially in the law enforcement world there's more uh two and three person entry drills there's more uh pair entries this is more uh military like fire team fire squad style of an entry drill but if you look at the training side of the house for law enforcement it's a lot more single and officer teams like two officer teams those entry styles are very different than like how you would take it with a full team uh, a lot of it started to so american tactics about late 2000s about 2010 to 12 or so started to slowly adopt a modified version of the israeli style limited penetration which was instead of entering the space you would uh so this guy if he was going to do more modern style he would clear from the outside he would go from his right to his left clear the outside of the structure because we started it's called a dirty clear or a single or a, a single per, a single officer clear a solo clear uh it, it is it comes from the israeli style of modified or excuse me of limited penetration uh we use that tactic more in a known threat scenario like active shooter drills so if uh when i had to take a gun call or anytime we had to clear stuff in a hurry i never stacked up like this with my partner or my my two or three buddies that were with me we didn't do this style we had to run to the threat so you clear so you do what they call a dirty clear um but in in airsoft because i don't know if it's for the sake of filming or it's just no one in the airsoft world has actually taken these classes from dudes that have done this a lot of airsofter guys only learn from other airsofters who again have never had a professional background or done this real world 
So you're going to see a lot of this old school regurgitated methodologies because it looks cooler on camera and it's more recognizable because you see this a lot more in Hollywood. That's an opinion. That could be a hot take. That is not to take away from the otters training. The otters, to their credit, are always trying to get better. Always. Uh, they run training. Who disliked them? Why? Uh, those guys, a lot of these guys are always trying to get better. Uh, they're always doing drills. They're always shooting. They're big fans of the tactical community. And I love the otters. They're good kids. So good for them for doing this stuff. Good for them. Good for all these guys. I love all this stuff. Uh, you don't really see a whole lot of like cringy training videos it, once in a blue moon you'll kind of see them uh but usually most airsofters are savvy enough based on the abundance of content that even a basic level airsofter go what is he doing that doesn't look real anymore what is that uh so good for these guys man god bless the otters me again thank you for watching uh if you would like i would appreciate it much if i could get a like and subscribe out of you that could be cool i'm just gonna put this out there if you don't like and subscribe you don't support veterans caber who the f are you nerd